Do you ever feel like taking a walk in the rain and just let it all out? Just scream, cry, or even punch your anxiety away? Again, don't you feel like adulting is a scam? I mean, growing up, I hated going to the nearby library just to do my homework. But look now, the other day I was at the library researching about this very same video and guess what? I enjoyed my time there. The things I appreciate now are the things that I hated as a kid. Likes of having less friends, staying indoors in my PJs and eating non-stop. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Zanele but you can call me Z and I'm currently going through a quarter life crisis. Meaning that I myself don't even know if I'm going or coming. I don't even know what makes me happy and I also don't know what's going on with me and my life. So basically, I am lost in my 20s. I don't know if 20s are supposed to stress the living shit out of me so my 30s can be better. Who knows, it might even get worse. Lately, I've been thinking so deep about my future, career, kids, marriage and all those other serious life stuff. And I came to a conclusion that damn, I am so lost in my 20s. Look. Growing up, we were all told and taught a very simple life formula that we need to go to school and pass with good grades, graduate with a high demanding degree, then start to the stem call to life with your high school sweetheart. And very true, we were all given that opportunity at the age of 16 in grade 10. Wait, how can I make that life death decision at that age? I mean, I'm clueless. As you're watching and listening to this video, don't think that I'm here to give you some sort of a solution to your 20s. In fact, I'm here to confuse you more. Yep, I said that. So, here's the thing. I feel like I'm currently vibing with my 20s. Like I'm traveling, meeting up with new people. I have few dollars and I can afford this and that. But I still shit myself every day when I think about my future. On the very same breath, we still have those influencers and content creators that get to confuse me more. By buying or changing cars every month, travel down to tropical islands with their beautiful BBLs booties and still snap beautiful flawless pictures on the gram. Please. Don't advise me. I do know that social media is so unreal and fake, but I still do feel the pressure, okay? I don't know, man. Lately, I've been hating taking phone calls, alcohol, dates, meaningless conversations with certain people. Instead, I simply want to rest the entire day, remain alone. Yet again, I want to go out for those long drives and make content, then return home and just cry myself to sleep. Am I really overthinking the whole thing? Okay, wait. Let's shift from that. Let's talk about me living abroad. Where do I even begin? I am so lonely, miserable, and probably falling into depression. Being lonely forces me to make peace with temporary friendships, people coming in and out of my life. I am miserable because I don't know what I like or what is it that I don't like. I change states, schools, and job every few months. Lately, I've been falling into a self-diagnosed depression. I stress about my future. I don't trust easily. I'm away from friends and family and I don't have my favorite food. I am so lost. I've done a lot of 9 to 5s and I must say I hate them all. My 20s in a way forces me to settle down and make a house a home. But I just hate being in the same place over and over again. But I also have the feeling of just moving around. I know a YouTuber who dedicated their lives into applying for different visas so they can move around and stay at Airbnbs. Deep down, I don't blame them. I mean, I like the idea of buying a house. It's beautiful and cute. But once I get bored of seeing the same walls every single day with somebody's son and a stranger that I push out of my vagina at the hospital after nine months. Guys, am I the only one who's feeling this way? Am I the only one who's feeling so confused or what? Am I really overthinking the whole thing? Please let me know if are you currently going through what I'm currently going through. Humans are not supposed to be alone. Humans are meant to be surrounded by others so we can learn and multiply from each other. But is it my fault if I fail to keep or maintain that relationship or friendship? The system has made us to think a certain way and forces us to be comfortable in our 9 to 5s or in our small homes. What happens if we don't follow the rules? What happens if we take the risk? Is it wrong to be called the black sheep of the family? Or is it wrong to be the weird one who keeps on breaking records at homes or in our small circles? People often say that 20s are the best years of our lives. This is a stage in your life whereby you get to explore and discover yourself more. The stage full of freedom and carelessness. Unfortunately, it can't be all that. Oh well, 
let me just put it this way i define the stage as confusion anxiety and overwhelming we suddenly have to wake up every morning and make decisions have daily responsibilities whilst we're still discovering our passions purpose and what makes us happy listen I could go on and on about how confused and lost I am in my 20s, but still, I still advise you to go out there and experience it all. Go to Vasi to experience your first trip, first kiss, have sex, taste alcohol, take risks, and make a lot of mistakes, but be responsible enough to learn from them and acknowledge when you are wrong. The best memories are the unplanned ones and created with beautiful people. No one has a formula for our 20s. All of us are just going through it with hopes that we are on the right path. We are all lost individuals in different ages and situations. These are the times of trying something new and discovering your purpose and passions. These are times of allowing people to come in and out of your life because I personally believe that we all meet different people for different reasons, good or bad. I believe and I hope that you're doing well and that you're on your right path. Never wake up and compare yourself to your circle. Always and forever compare yourself to the person you see in the mirror. Again, go out there and live your 20s to the fullest, but just don't die. I want to be happy. I want to discover myself more and explore this beautiful world. I want to continue to challenge myself and improve on my skills. I'm still discovering my purpose in this world, but for now, I am enjoying the last few years of my 20s and I hope you'll do the same. There are so many opportunities out there. Go grab them and do something about them and stop procrastinating. It's very important to accept all these changes and roller coaster of emotions. It is also okay to be lost and confused in your 20s. And it is very much okay to acknowledge and embrace your situation. It will get better. Maybe it's called growth. The more we grow and face these challenges, the more we get a chance to discover ourselves and know what makes us happy. Do not allow laziness and procrastination to get in the way. You are in your 20s, so go out there and live a little. The changing of the season is a reminder to live in the present and accept each moment as it comes.